Hey guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So today I'm coming at you with a Friday read, which is very rare for me because I don't usually have time to do them. Um, but today I did, and my house is quiet, so I thought, why not film a video? And because it's Friday, and it's a Friday going into a bank holiday weekend, which means lots of reading time, I thought, why not do a Friday Reads? And as you can see by the title, this is also going to be a cheeky little book haul too. Just some books that I've picked up and been sent since I did the last uh, part of my haul. I know I'm bombarding you with hauls at the moment, but um, I promise you, in fact, after this book haul and my Kindle ebook haul, which I'll be doing in my Kindle video, um, although that's not going to be up for a few more weeks yet, probably, um, this will be... They will be the last book calls that I'm going to be doing for, well, until the end of July because I'm going to YALC and I need to start saving so I've really got to cut down on what I'm spending on books. Um, so I'm literally just going to be allowing myself to buy books that I've been waiting for. That is it, nothing else. So make the most of this if you do like my hauls, which I know some of you do. Um, because, yeah, it will be the last one, physical one, that you see for a while. So without further ado, I'm going to get on with it because I've already been bumbling on for ages as I always do. So let me show you the book. I'll start off with the two that I received for review. The first one was sent to me from, I think this was, yeah, Penguin Random House. And this is The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina or Lapena. I love this cover. Um... This is a psychological thriller, an adult psychological thriller, which you guys know I'm loving at the moment. And um, I think it's about a couple that go to their neighbour's dinner party, but their neighbours say that they don't want them to bring their six-month-old daughter. So I think they leave her alone next door, and they just, like, take the baby monitor, but when they go back, she's disappeared. So um, I just think this sounds really like one of those reads where you're just going to be sucked in and not want to put it down so I'm really excited for this one and when does this come out it comes out on the 14th of July so um, I'll probably wait a little bit nearer the time before I read this one and the other one that I received for a view and this is uh, so exciting okay and I've already read it because I just couldn't wait and what's even more exciting about this one is that I was sent it from the author herself and that is And the Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigish, who of course wrote The Dead House, one of my all-time favourite books. And as I say, she very kindly sent me this copy to review. And as I've also said, I've already read it. It is about two sisters called Scylla and Nori who go to live with their... who They run away, basically, from their abusive uh, father to um, their auntie Kath's house which is this big old house which is the colour of blood and when they get there rather weird things start to happen and they feel like they're being watched and that's all I want to say for now because I will do a review nearer to the time when it's being released but it's actually not out here in the UK until September so I can't really talk too much about it yet but what I will say is it blew my mind it was her writing is so beautiful and terrifying all at the same time and I mean if you've read The Dead House you'll know how creepy that book was this book Take It From Me is twice as scary it terrified me at times and you guys know that I'm pretty hardcore when it comes to horror but this book freaked me out so um, yes thank you very much Dawn for sending this to me I feel so lucky to be one of the first to have read it so that is that one so now all the other books that I'm going to show you are books that I have just bought over the last kind of week or so. So the first one is The Darkest Corners by Cara Thomas. This is another thriller, young adult thriller this one is. And I do own this in ebook form as well. I got, I was sent it from NetGalley for a review. But I really just wanted a physical copy too because it is so beautiful. And this is kind of a murder mystery thing. And um, I'm very, very excited to read it. I just, this cover, it's got like newspaper reports all around it uh, about the serial murderer and, oh, it just sounds so good and I cannot wait to read this one. The next two books that I picked up are both from the same author and 
If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know how obsessed I am with this man and his books right now. I can't honestly get enough, I just want to read them all the time and I'm currently collecting them. So it is Harlan Coben, I'm just adoring him at the moment. His books, oh my god, they're so good and so addictive. So I also picked up Missing You by Harlan Coben um, and The Stranger by Harlan Coben. The Stranger is his, not his most recent one, I just read his most recent one, which is Fool Me Once, and I'll have a review up for that soon, but the one before his most recent one, and um, I'm just so excited to get into these books. All of his books are like crime, mystery, thrillers, and I just, honestly, if you have not read a Harlan Coben book, guys, seriously, go and pick them up. Oh, they're just so, so good. The next book that I picked up is one I've had my eyes on for a while, but kept putting off because it is science fiction, and you guys know science fiction does not float my boat in any way, um, but I just gave in in the end because people just kept saying how good it was, and that is All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders, and this is about Patricia, who is a witch and can communicate with animals, and Lawrence, who is a mad scientist, and I think they have to save the world or something like that, and I'm I'm really excited actually now I've got this um, to get into it and I'm I'm really hoping that this can actually make me like a science fiction book because um, yeah you guys know they just don't do it for me but hopefully this will be the one that changes that um, the next book is another one that I've been eyeing up for a while but not sure whether to pick up because I know it's a mishmash of genres um, and this is a drop of night by Stephen Barkman, which is floppy. I mean, who doesn't love a floppy book? And I think this is set in two time periods. So in 1789, during the French Revolution, and now when a boy, he wins an all expenses paid trip to France to explore a site hidden deep underground. But something evil was left there from the times of the French Revolution. Um, and I think, so I think when you're reading in the chapters from the French Revolution, you find out how this thing came to be there. And, um, yeah, it just sounds really creepy, really good. Stefan Barkman is a great writer. So I am I am excited. Again, now I've got it, I'm, I'm excited for this one as well. So that's that. And the next one that I picked up is Down With The Shine by Kate Carius Quinn. Um, who is also the author of Another Little Piece, which I do own somewhere, but I'm yet to read. And I think this is to do with, she goes to a party and they're drinking, is it moonshine? Um, and they all make a wish, because when you make a wish before you drink this, the wishes always come true. And she wishes for her friend to come back who has been murdered. And I think something goes wrong and um, it sets off this whole chain of events this whole creepy chain of events, and this just sounds right up my street. I cannot wait to delve into this one. So, yeah, that is that, and it's a beautiful cover, this one as well. Beautiful cover. Um, the next one that I picked up is The Young Writers Anthology 2015, um, and this is a whole bunch of stories by up-and-coming young authors in lots of different genres, in fact, every different genre, really. And I love reading things like this. I really do. I love reading poetry collections by people that are up and coming. And just generally, I really enjoy reading books like this. So the last five books that I have to show you are all graphic novels. Um, I seem to go through stages with graphic novels where I really, really want to read them. And then I'm not that phased. But at the moment, I'm really enjoying them. So the first one I picked up is Volume 1 of Miss Marvel and I've been wanting to pick this one up for a while but because I'm not a huge superhero fan, aside from Batman, um, I don't know, I guess I've just put it off. Um, but I heard someone talking about it recently, I can't remember who it was and I just thought, do you know what, I'm just going to give it a go. The artwork I have to say is amazing, definitely my sort of thing. And as I said, this is about a female superhero, but she's also Muslim which I think is really great because I don't think there are enough Muslim characters in books I really don't so I'm interested I'm interested to see what my thoughts are on this then I picked up Patience by Daniel Klaus 
and this book is beautiful it really is beautiful I know a lot of people love Daniel Klaus but I've never read anything by him before this one just caught my attention uh, it's about a boy whose girlfriend is murdered and I think he maybe like goes back in time or something to try and save her or like find out who did it I think um, so yeah I'm really excited and I hope the story is as good as the artwork then I picked up volume three of Rat Queens. Um, this is one of my favourite graphic novel series of all time, along with obviously Saga. And I'm so excited that the third volume is finally here. So you guys know I've been picking up single issues recently, but I still, I'm just a sucker for these ones. I, I just, do you know what? It, if, if it didn't take so long for these copies to come out I, I probably would never buy single issues it's because I get impatient um, but yeah really excited to read read this one then I picked up volume one of I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young and this is about a grown-up stuck in a six-year-old body who is stuck in a magical world of fairyland and she hates it there and I don't know, I think this is just supposed to be a really weird one with lots of like blood and gore and I don't know. The artwork is really good. It's kind of, it looks like it's going to be one of those ones that's quite sort of trippy. But i um, really interested to see what this one's like because I've heard a lot about it. And then the last one I picked up, probably the one I'm most excited about, um, is Gotham Academy Volume 1 by Becky Clune and Brendan Fletcher and I just thought that I didn't tell you any of those are written by oh well that matter um yeah this is Gotham Academy volume one I'm so freaking excited for this one um this is about a group of students at Gotham Academy and it says only the best and brightest students enter its hall study in its classrooms explore its secret passages summon its terrifying spirits um and I don't know, it's just got lots of ghosts in it, which is what drew me to it. You guys know I love my ghosty things. And the artwork, guys, seriously, I feel like this is going to be one of those ones that once I've read it, I will literally go straight and buy the second volume, because it's... Oh, <laughs> I know, I'm just going to love it. So, yeah, um, that is my book haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some inspiration for that. And I'm now going to peruse on over to my Friday reads. So the first thing I'll be reading is what I just showed and that is volume one of Gotham Academy because I just can't not read it. I just I just need to read this. I can't wait. Um, and then I'm actually going to be reading some stuff on my Kindle because I've got quite a lot of arcs and proofs that um, I've been sent from NetGalley and Alevice. So um, I will be picking up, and I probably should have got this ready before I started doing this video, um, scary out there, um, look at this cover guys, it's so good, um, and this is a young adult anthology, um, put together by Jonathan Mabry, the author of the Rotten Ruin series, Trilogy. no, it's not a trilogy, it's a series, um, and this is basically poetry and stories by lots of different YA authors, all based around fear. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this one. It isn't out until the end of the year though, um, so I'm so thrilled that um, I was lucky enough to be sent a copy of it from Simon & Schuster through Edelweiss, so very excited to read that one. And I will also be, um, if I can, getting to uh, Wax. Now I've forgotten who the author is of this one and it isn't on the front, but this is supposed to be a story that is um, kind of a take on the movie House of Wax, uh, which is one of my favourite, favourite movies, so I'm very excited for that one. And I've put it in there because it's only short, um, so I'm hoping that I might get to it, but if not, I will definitely, definitely be reading Gotham Academy and Scary Out There. So um, do let me know down below what you plan on reading this weekend. And it's a bank holiday, so I really um, hope you enjoy it, however you're celebrating, and I will see you celebrating 
What am I talking about? However you're doing the bank holiday. Oh my god. I really need sleep. Um, and I will see you all in my next video.